Hi guys, welcome back to Matt's My Cars. And firstly, it's been a very long time since I've uploaded, so I'm sorry about that. I'm going to give a little bit of an update shortly. But as the title of this video suggests, I'm extremely excited because I've ordered the brand new BMW M240i xDrive. I'm not going to give too much away in terms of the specifications because, of course, I'm going to do a full video when that car arrives, which hopefully should be next month. Hopefully, you can hear me now because the wind is terrible. I've also changed my car, I'm no longer in the 330i, so let's do a walking tour of the car sat behind me and the car that I'm running right now. Okay, so here is the car that I'm currently driving the BMW 420i convertible, as you can see. Now, I've actually been in this for about two months now, hence why I thought it was about time that I did a little bit of an update video. So, the 330i, let's have a quick brief history on that. The 330i that I was driving before was a great car, um, but for me, it didn't have a Pro Pack, which, if you've never driven a BMW, the Pro Pack is the first thing that you need to spec, because you get the adaptive dampers, the big wheels, so on and so forth. This has got that. Yes, it's a little bit down on power compared to the 330i. Um, this has only got around 189 horsepower, about 190, something like that. So it probably is a tiny little bit uh, underpowered, especially with the weight of it without the roof. However, I absolutely love the look of this car. It is very, very dirty at the minute, so I will apologize about that. Um, but it's finished in Arctic Race Blue. Um, it has the Pro Pack, so we've got the large alloy wheels. We've also got darker shadow lights on the front, actually, which is something that not many people know that you get with these um, Pro Packs. Of course, the 4 Series has the controversial front end. Has it grown on you yet? I think it looks absolutely brilliant. I'm a huge fan of this, even from the moment it came out. I mean, look at it. It just looks so classy and lovely, especially in this colour. Sorry, it's so dirty. Um, it is, of course, the workhorse for the main job, main channel over on Rydebook TV. I do a lot of driving, a lot of miles. I've actually done about four and a half thousand miles in this already. Um, look at that side profile. What a great looking car. It's actually a very clean design. There's not a load of lines across the side like there is normally. There's no sort of vents down here, no fakery. You've just got the one clean line that goes all the way around the back. Um, doesn't even go through the door handle. Let's have a little look around the back. I think the back just looks so good. You've got the LED lights on there, the twin pipes uh, on the back, which for a 420i actually sound really, really good. It pops and burbles a little bit on the startup. Um, not heard it from the outside when it's under load, but I imagine it sounds pretty bloody good. Let's have a look inside. Of course, it's very recognisable BMW interior. Um, this particular car has got, just rack my memory, we've got an M Sport Plus pack, and it's also got a Comfort pack as well, which means that I've got the lovely air scarf in these. We've got heated, uh, heated seats, a heated steering wheel, as I say, air scarf, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, all the spec you're ever gonna need, big screen in the center, the digital driver's cockpit. Um, say it's not the most practical of cars in the world. Um, however, these little dirty bits here are from when I put a telly in the back of it last week. Um, <laughs> and as long as you've got the roof down, it's uh, it's not too bad to be fair. I mean, in terms of boot space, you don't really get that much. Let me show you this. But it is more than the previous shape. But the camera bag there, and now the roof is up, obviously. I mean, down at the minute. So you have to have this um, down. But actually, the boot goes quite a long way back. Um, so it's not too bad in there, to be honest. Um, to drive, it's, it's, it's glorious, to be honest. It's not a B-Road barnstormer. It's not super sharp. It's not super tactile. Um, but it does drive so well for long distances, as I said. There are about 4,500 miles in it uh, in just over two months. So for long distance journeys, it's actually... It's superb, and if I'm going to only be in this for a couple of months, I'm having the roof down whenever I possibly can. It's it's December at the minute, and well, it's incredibly cold. I think it's about two or three degrees today. But you know what? Who cares? If you can have the roof down, have the roof down. Um, the great thing, though, I've noticed about the 4 Series convertible is you don't really feel much in the way of the wind on the outside. It's actually really 
good at disguising the wind. Now you also do get a wind deflector. I've not got it in at the moment, but you do get a wind deflector with, uh, I think, believe it's the comfort pack. Um, so that would help massively uh, with the wind coming in. But yeah, it's been a long time since I've uploaded. I've driven some amazing, amazing cars. Um, chief among which is the 992 GT3, which without spoiling the video that's over on the main Rybuck TV channel, that is the best car I've ever driven and possibly the best car, well, I'd say currently on sale, but you can't get them. Um, it's a very, very special thing. But yeah, just a quick update um, on what I'm currently driving and, and what is coming in the future. Um, as I say, I'm not going to reveal too much of the specification uh, now because I want to try and keep it keep it good and, and more excited about it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's supposed to arrive hopefully January, um, but the way that all car deliveries are right now, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't arrive until a little bit later. Um, but of course, I will post a full walk around video on that car. And let me know if you want to see more of this car. Let me know if you want to see more of the 4 Series convertible. Do you want me to do a full first drive? Um, let me know. Let me know uh, in the comments below if you want to see more of this car. But yeah, the big, big news is the M240i is coming and I cannot be more excited about it. I cannot wait to be back in a B58. So thank you guys ever so much for watching. Just a real quick update uh, of what I'm currently driving and what's coming. Um, I say this every single time, but I'm going to try and post a little bit more frequently on this channel. Um, it's just the, the main channel at Rybook TV is, is incredibly busy right now. Um, but yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, um, because there will be an awful lot of content to come on the new M240i when it arrives.